Missouri laborers are the best trained, safest, and most productive workforce around. Day after day, year after year, union laborers in Missouri go to work and get the job done. On time, on budget, and with fewer lost time accidents than any other trade. Why is that? It starts with the training these professionals receive through the Laborers Training Center at High Hill, Missouri. Nestled on 175 acres of fields and woods, the state-of-the-art facility provides a perfect setting for an accredited, hands-on skill training program. High Hills instructors, recognized as the best in their field, are experienced professionals, guiding their students through classroom coursework and job skill training. It's a simple formula. Take the finest instructors and staff in the industry, leading edge training facilities in a safe environment conducive to learning, and combined with eager and qualified laborers to produce the safest, most productive workforce in the industry. Well, we're adding a lot of new construction jobs from a brand new bridge to a brand new $200 million medical complex. It'll be the largest construction project in the history of Columbia, over 4,500 construction workers over the next five years. And for me, having a trained, skilled workforce uh, to bring that project in uh, under budget and on time is very important. We need young people to come into the trades, and I think the union movement and, and the trades in general, I know, are, are giving a lot of attention to uh, how do we recruit and then how do we train the highest skilled uh, tradesmen possible so that our community as a whole, people who are not in construction, uh, benefit from that at the end of the day because of the quality of the work that's put in place. In fact, uh, it's estimated that there's over 12,000 shortages nationwide in skilled construction workers. And a lot of projects are putting on hold or delayed because we don't have enough people. There's such a good living to be made. When you look at the wages that you can make and how much money you can make a year and you compare it to other professions that young people are, are going after. Mainly I think one of the biggest things I've seen them grow in is their responsibilities. I think that we help people become more responsible. Um, we try to help them have a little bit more guidance in their life as far as tasks at hand and what they need to do. Having some responsibilities and getting up to being an actual supervisor or foreman. I drove past this place my whole life. Never really knew what went on here until I come to work here. And if I'd have known then, it would have been a game changer for me on my decisions of the way I was going to live my life and working and stuff. They offer you college, so you can get college classes through the union. Um, great pay. Uh, the benefits are amazing. And then you have retirement. You can retire at such a young age if you start early. So it's nice to have those things. So I think it's just a lot more unsafe for no training. I mean, it's a lot more dangerous. You're more likely not to come home the next day versus uh, training, getting all your training in to the union and getting all the knowledge you can from up here in school. Oh, yeah, it does. Um, you know, there's so many small towns in this 60, 70 mile radius to St. Louis on the Illinois side as well as the Missouri side. But when someone can stay in that area that they feel comfortable in and they feel rooted in, you can afford to do it as a construction craft laborer. Uh, you can do it because you're making that living. But not only that, uh, that town still needs upgraded sewers. It still needs roadways through it. It still needs uh, housing if it's going to grow or even maintain what housing they got. And as buildings grow or as schools grow, you hate to see them being consolidated. You can maintain a life. I know a lot of young kids that had come in very young, 21, um, and they've already purchased their own trucks, their own houses. You know, they have financial stability for themselves at 21, 22 years old. Well, I have a greater level of confidence now. Now I can provide and have health care for my whole family. I can just do so much more. I can provide so much more for them now. I came a long ways from what I used to be and uh, just keep on bettering myself every day. You know, I had several opportunities to go to work in the union when I was younger, and I was just, I don't know, you know, the city. I don't, I'm a country boy, I didn't know it, but no, no one now, I wish I knew it back then, because I would have definitely went in when I was younger. Well, it's very important to keep uh, people in our district, because it's a rural district, and as individuals uh, move out of the rural areas or off the farms, and if they find there's not the jobs available here, they're, they're going to move somewhere else. And how do we get jobs here? Well, we have uh, make sure we have highly trained, skilled workers so that we get the economic development to move in here, and uh, particularly in the construction 
trades. We are competing with other parts of the country and to some degree other parts of the world. And part of that competition is can we attract talent? And so the union movement, I think, is the best uh, vehicle for training skilled labor uh, that there is.